Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss what is the likelihood that you will be able to get out on bond, immigration bond, while you are in immigration detention center if you have a criminal arrest or conviction. Let's say that you have been detained by law enforcement and you ended up being unfortunately in county jail because you have been charged with a crime, let's say DUI or or any other crime like domestic violence or similar crime, right? And now you wonder why you cannot get out from the jail? Like what, what is the problem of you getting out? Well, and you hear that you have immigration deta detainer on you and that you cannot get out, you cannot post a bond. So now you just have to sit in jail and wait for your criminal case to be over. Therefore, uh, after that, ICE can come and pick you up and transport you to the immigration detention facility. Unfortunately, that's how it works. So after you finish with your immigration, with your criminal case, you will be transported by ICE to immigration detention center, where you will be able to request a bond with an immigration judge, unless you already have a prior order of deportation. And you always have to tell your immigration attorney, if you have one, that you actually do have a prior order of deportation. This is very, very important. Now, you would like to request an immigration bond with immigration judge. What is the likelihood that you can actually get out on bond, on immigration bond, and wait your immigration proceedings, wait until you're here, not in a detention, but instead being out with your family? The immigration judge usually will look at several factors. Let's say if you have a criminal arrest or a conviction, this is what this video is about, then it's going to be very specific. The judge will look at how serious your arrest or offense was if you pled guilty to some kind of offense how serious that was let's say for instance if you had a DUI charge and your DUI charge was not adjudicated you was not found guilty of DUI I simply came and pick you up before your DUI case get a chance to be resolved right you didn't have a chance for your DUI case to get resolved so I came and got you before that so now you actually have a good case if you had a substantial presence in the United States, if you acquire property, if you have children who were born here in the United States, you actually have a strong case if DUI arrest is all you have. Okay, let's say you've been here in the United States for 15 years and now you've been arrested for DUI, now was convicted of DUI, you were simply transported to immigration detention center. You have kids who were born in the United States, you have a house here, so you can actually establish that you have a substantial ties with the United States through your children and through your property. Therefore, in DUI affairs, was, you was never found guilty. So therefore, the argument is that you are not a danger to the community and you will not flee from immigration removal proceedings, right? So this is a good case, actually. Again, remember, this is only a video for general information. This is not supposed to be treated as attorney's advice. Now, let's look at another case. Let's say we have a little different fact pattern at this point. Let's say you was arrested and charged with domestic violence. Okay, so this is a little bit different back pattern. And now you are in county jail awaiting your, your hearing date. However, it happened many times before. Came and got you before your court date. So now you have been transported to ICE detention center, right? And you are awaiting your immigration hearings. Now you can go ahead and request the bond. So this fact pattern is a little different than the fact pattern that we'll look at in DUI case, right? Why? Because the argument would be from, let's say, from DHS, from the trial attorney, from immigration, from the government, that you are actually a danger to the community, right? That you are a danger to your kids and to your wife. Here, how you can mitigate this. So you have an arrest report, very important, that you have an attorney who can request from court, public through public record information, a copy of your police report, because it's very important that the judge, immigration judge, has a chance to look at your a report. If report is not present in your bond hearing package that's been submitted by attorney, and I witnessed that many times during different hearings when I was allowed to be present in immigration court, that attorney does not submit the report, police report, with a criminal file of the client. So what happens is the judge
judge simply denies the bond because the judge has a right to know in order to adjudicate you whether you are danger to the community or not, the judge will request a police report because police report will show what occurred during that day. If you don't have a police report, if your attorney failed to produce a police report, then the judge might give you a second chance by asking your attorney to withdraw a first request so that the judge can give a second chance to the attorney to present the evidence such as police report and try to mitigate the criminal offense, right? Factor, danger to the community again. So now let's say that you have a police report, you have been charged with domestic violence and police reports saying that the child was present during the argument that you had with your girlfriend or with your spouse, whoever it was, right? So this actually is very detrimental to your case. Why? Although, you know, it's also a criminal charge just like DUI. However, here the argument that you have ties with the United States, that you have substantive, a substantial connection with the United States is not going to be that strong because you actually had uh, some kind of, you know, you kind of show physical violence or emotional abuse towards child and a mom. So now we have a little bit different case. And what you can do is in this instance, you can submit the affidavit from a spouse that's saying that that's not what happened. But again, keep in mind, it will be very dif difficult because immigration judges, they trust law enforcement very much. They look at the police reports and if police reports is not present, they will not grant the bond. And I saw it happening many, many times. Now you can submit the affidavit again from the spouse who was involved in this altercation, let's say a domestic violence incident. However, likely e even that affidavit will not mitigate the um, factor that you are danger to the community. Unfortunately, domestic violence, especially if you have children together who were present on the child who was present during this domestic violence incident, the judge likely will not grant the bond to this kind of person who is who is allegedly danger to the community, although there is no conviction. However, there is a report, okay? And when children are involved, judges are very strict. Judges are very protective towards children and they're very protective as far as if, if there was any abuse involved, okay? So this is what I wanted to tell you regarding criminal connection between a bond, immigration bond, and the criminal charges, right? So also any PD offenses which are not involved drugs, let's say there is a one exception that if there is a specific small amount of marijuana was involved in the incident, right, and you was arrested and now convicted or even convicted and there is a specific amount, very small amount, that you might be able to be eligible for a bond. But if it's more than that amount and you will not be able to get out on bond because that is not what the law, the law does not protect that. The law will not protect you, right? So this is what I wanted to talk about and discuss this connection between criminal allegations and immigration bond. Again, if you have a chance to retain a criminal defense lawyer and immigration attorney in one person, right? So that that person can do both of uh, those cases. If this person is of course licensed in a state, you caught your arrest or you caught your charge, that will be very helpful. Otherwise you can just retain any immigration attorney who is here in the United States and who is located within 50 states to help you with your immigration case and uh, it's better that that attorney actually has knowledge of criminal law, some sort of connection between immigration law and criminal law so that this attorney can get in touch with a criminal defense lawyer and explain to criminal defense lawyer that hey maybe it's not a good idea here to plead guilty, maybe adjudication, some sort of adjudicative probation would be better a chance, you know, for this client to get some sort of relief in the future cancellation of removal or adjustment of status. So you have to be very careful when you um, decide to plead guilty to any criminal offense, right? Sometimes it's not a good idea. Maybe there is a chance for the offense to be dismissed. So you have to consult with an experienced criminal defense and immigration lawyer in your jurisdiction. Okay, so if you're interested in schedule an appointment with our law firm, you can call 228-229-7500 the phone number is down below or you can go to our website www.nataliaforshlawfirm.com and you can schedule your consultation and I will be more than happy uh, to talk to you about your case and about the possibility that you will be able to get out of bond. Again, this is very specific area in the practice of law for immigration and scope. And this is very, very specific area. You got to be very careful and majority of people who are here in the United States at some point in their life experience 
experience some speeding tickets or no driver's license or you know we're all human so you gotta be careful and you definitely need to talk to experienced immigration and criminal defense lawyer i hope this video was helpful again this is just general information please do not treat this as an attorney advice if you need an advice if you need a consultation you can contact my office thank you for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to my channel goodbye